I'm Andrew and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, what on earth is he doing like that? Well, I'm just trying to get a look at the world from a different angle. Now for those of you sitting down, if you stand up, you'll get a look at the world from a different angle too. So, on your feet now and let's go through Taeguk Udang. Hello once again, Master Lee. Hello everyone, I'm Lee Gyu Hyun. You know, Master Lee, they say that out of all the days in the week, Thursday is the day where you feel most tired, most stressed, and most like basically just staying in bed. But how about you? Oh, I agree, Andrew, and I'm no exception. You have a lot of work that needs to be completed, and the weekend still seems so far away. So I agree that Thursday is one of the longer days of the week. But I think we should start off this Thursday with some Taekwondo. What do you think? That's a great idea. Okay, we promise now to make your Thursday more exciting, more wonderful, and better with Taeguk Udang. Okay, everyone, we'll review what we've learned up until yesterday, and we'll show you a preview of what we'll be practicing today. All right. Now, after reviewing the moves one more time, I'll give you a detailed explanation of the new forms. Please watch carefully. Okay, you all know this, right? The consecutive momtong maki and momtong an maki you have learned up to here yesterday. From now, as this form is a block, we'll move on to an attack by doing the apchagi. You all know how to do that, right? You lift your foot like this, and with your front sole, you kick the opponent's sternum. And then after the kick, while setting your foot down, you do the tungjumok chigi, aiming for the area below his nose. And finally, going through with a block. All right, the following moves are all identical except that you'll be kicking with your left foot, which is natural as you're advancing forward. And don't forget, you have to aim for the sternum. Next, we'll be doing the tungjumok apchigi while advancing forward. You have already learned this in the basic forms, but I'll explain it to you one more time. Okay, from here, for the move, you have your arms like this with the right arm placed below and the left arm on top. And going through the wind-up, you step forward when your right fist is about to clear the area below your armpit. Remember now to strike straight forward without twisting the arm. If you twist the arm, uh, it'll become a blocking form. So you need to attack straight forward. Hey! All right, did you get all that? Hey! 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 
Well, I hope you got all of that. That's how you do it all practically. Now, watch very carefully as we go beginning to end of everything today in today's point. Okay, did you get that one? Well, I'll show it to you just one more time, okay? Ready? Aye! Aye! All right, did you get that one? Now, here's everything you ever needed to know to keep you safe on the streets here on Taekwondo Real Life. Look at what's happening here. Obviously no respect for women. And look at this. Just throws his cigarette butts anywhere. No respect for society either. But how do you punish someone like this? The best thing is you be able to protect yourself against them. You saw that one, didn't you? Just with the humble fan, she distracted him after he tried to attack her. She distracted him and then whoosh, straight on the ground. Pretty cool, hey? Watch it again. We'll take it all in slow motion. Well, thank you again, Master Lee. Thank you for watching. Okay, so how was that? Have we gotten rid of all of your Thursday-itis? I hope so. Now you can finish off the rest of the day excitedly and join us again tomorrow for more action on Taekwondo, step by step.